Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance, and this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Anonymous, and here is his story. Hello, Ollie. I will remain anonymous. <clears throat> Happy New Year. One of your videos you've done for me is divorcing narcissistic boss, and you were really spot on about my employment being as a work marriage. I remember during the first week of my employment, he said that there are no individual merits and that my last is his last name. And you were also spot on about how I'm being treated as an abused spouse. As I'm writing to you now, count down the discard, divorce is winding down. But fortunately, a friend of mine that's in the field just acquired a really nice shop and gave me my own set of keys. Man, I'm telling you, this is the best thing for you. Okay, you got talent, you're a mechanic, you could take your skills anywhere you want to go. Okay, you didn't need to be putting up with this bullshit, with this fucking guy's homophobic, okay, on the down low, racist fucking, self-hating racist bullshit. It's not all that, but it's much better than where I am now. As people... Whom dealt, who dealt with narcs say, deal with them in silence, move out where it will raise no suspicions with them. But I do believe he may already know what's going on. This, this is his season to be off the hinges. Yep, they always have a sixth sense. They always have a sense when they know you're about to pull away. They always can kind of sense it. But he started on me, in on me the other day, accusing me of destroying the cables of his ancient snow. They always accuse you of breaking some. Listen, understand something. When they feel you're about to pull away, they accuse you of doing something, breaking something that's going to make you indebted to them. You understand? That's all this is. It's another ploy. They make up something. They accuse you of something that's going to make you indebted to them. That's that's what's going on here. Accusing me of destroying the cables of his ancient snowblower, twice snapping on me about my heat lamp, almost setting something on fire, mentioning a quote to me about something someone said 43 years ago, and screamed about a little spot of a transmission fluid being on the ground saying it's going to eat up the fucking asphalt. Mind you, he had that mess put down almost 18 years ago when I first started there, but they never put sealer on it because it cost extra. Like, what kind of fucking asshole runs a fucking mechanic shop and doesn't seal his own and complains about a spot of transmit? That's normal. That's normal. Every fucking mechanic shop I've ever been in, the floors are stained with every goddamn motor fluid that comes out of an automobile. All he's trying to do is make you think you're indebted to him. That's all he's trying to do here. And told a flying monkey calling me Samson, saying I fucked up his snowblower with those big hands, saying that those big hands are fuck are fucking him up and the next day tries to talk to me with empathy but my mind isn't going to change he also mentioned to a he also mentioned to a few months ago saying i can tell i can tell you to take your shit and get the fuck out get the fuck out of here and if i fire you you'll be living under the viaduct i promise you you'll never have shit until until you got here but until you got here, but I have gotten my certificate and I was beginning to come up, come up some. He came to me at work, not the other way around. I am so sorry I didn't decline him back then. Right, he's just trying to devalue you, man. This is how, this is how an abusive husband, an abusive spouse works, okay? Does when he feels the spouse is about to leave. In your case, it's a boss and we've already stipulated years ago, this is a work marriage. He's trying to make you think you're indebted to him. You're not. <clears throat> 
another incident we had this past August was about a neighborhood crackhead that keeps coming in his place. I keep trying to run this guy away. I don't know how many times. It was always the boss who lets everybody to who who lets everybody get free air for all the tires and bikes. He screamed at him to get the fuck out of his place. He took his time to get on his bike. Boss grabs his trash stick with a nail in it and wails on him and then kicked his bike. Jesus Christ. Dude, he's going to go too far. You don't want to be anywhere near it when he does. Mind you, I was laying under a car servicing the trans. He screamed at me and was about to hit me with it. I was ready for him. He saw that and I caught and caught himself and said, See that motherfucker at your house? I had it I had it up to here with that with motherfuckers stealing my shit. Heck, I can't even control other people. Old bastard would have died on his eightieth birthday had he hit me with that stick. I would have broken his neck. He's eighty and you're taking this man. <clears throat> Making my move now very cautiously, he calls he calls all my tool junk and unsanitary and a fire hazard saying I will be the cause of him getting a fine at the same time he may start an argument if I cleaned out everything too fast. There are some things I know I'm going to have to leave. If I, if I have nowhere to go, I'm going to still have to leave, praying and believing God that my transition will be smooth and sure. And divorce doesn't get too ugly, pun intended. That's exactly what you're going through here, man. There is there is more to this going to elaborate whenever I'm in the mood. God bless you, Ollie. And may he make you and your daughter's relationship full. Take care. Anonymous. And he showed me the place, you know, he showed me the picture. He showed me the, the, the certificate, you know. Go, man. He's 80. Go. Go go he's trying to make you think you're indebted to him that's like an just like just like an abusive spouse would makes you think you're not worthy makes tells you you were nothing before him you'll be nothing without him and that you're now indebted to him and you'll be living under a viaduct without him dude go dude you're a mechanic you got your certificate you got everything you need you don't need this guy. You don't need this guy or his abuse. Go. And good luck, man. And thank you again for another contribution and another story, Anonymous. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to have a private video made, or you'd just like to make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it growing, supported, and successful, because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all of this goes away. And YouTube and Google try to make me go away a lot sooner than later. So if you like what you see here, and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. Also, be sure to follow me on the library app. Links available in the description box as well. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance. Take care.